Now to tonight's justice files. Mothers who kill their own children. The case currently unfolding in Idaho involving Lori Daybell's children raises the question, how could any parent do something like this to a child? For every crime, there's a story and the truth matters. Here's ABC 4 senior crime and punishment correspondent Marcos Ortiz with tonight's Justice Files. There are many reasons why parents kill children. Experts say stress, immaturity, mental illness, even narcissistic behavior are some of the causes behind the unthinkable. She just wouldn't stop screaming and I got frustrated, lost my temper. In 1994, Shelley Flemmel makes a public plea for her daughter's safe return. She tells Ogden police in the media, Courtney Jo is kidnapped. During the search, neighbors and the community join to help find Flemmel's daughter. But three days later, police find the three-year-old dead at a nearby cemetery. Then the truth comes out. Flemmel kills her own daughter and takes her to the cemetery. She's charged for the toddler's murder and eventually gets up to life in prison. In 2015, she gets a parole hearing. I got scared. I didn't think anybody would believe me when I said it was an accident. And when you say it was an accident, you meant to hit her. I meant to hit her. I didn't mean to kill her. A well-known psychiatrist who has a history of doing mental evaluations in high-profile cases says parents have their reasons for killing children. Sometimes they're simply unwanted children. And those unwanted children... Uh, maybe the result of the parent having very poor impulse control, maybe involved with drug use. There's a case of Mary Hansen, who in 2012 shoots and kills her daughter. She botches her own suicide. West Jordan police say that Hansen has a plan for both to die. I think it's a terrible thing. I think it's just a, a terrible thing to have somebody feel that way. And Authorities later learn Hansen is behind in tax payments and broke. Dr. Gardner says this case is typical. They decide that they will end up in heaven together with their children, but it's very much the sense that their lives would be much better if they, if the children uh, had their lives ended. I think my wife hurt my children. I'm not totally sure. When police arrive, they learn Sancha Warhola murders their two children. In 2010, Leighton police learn she strangles them, but Warhola later is declared incompetent to stand trial. Dr. Gardner says two cases come to mind involving parents with brain disorders. Afterwards, uh, neither of them had memory of doing it, even though it was very clear that they had done it. And now there's the Daybells in Idaho. This week, authorities uncover human remains, likely those of Lori Vallow's missing children. Vallow and her fifth husband, Chad Daybell, marry last year. Both are now facing various charges related to the children's disappearance. Her biological mother m may feel that her relationship to a man is so important to her, they may on occasion end the life of the children in order to sustain and nurture a relationship uh, with uh, a partner that, uh, that does not want the children. Dr. Gardner says justice and mercy need to be brought into the picture when these individuals face their day of reckoning. For the Justice Files, Marcus Ortiz, ABC4 News.